Hello viewers, welcome to Audio Vis 360. Today I have this Philips RM210 cassette recorder which I am going to tear this down and let's see what is there inside without wasting time. Let's start tearing this down. First of all, let me show you. This is the cassette recorder. This has single cassette recorder. This is the space to put the cassette and these are the controls, volume control and this is the mic and this is mono and this has only one speaker here. Let's see how to tear this down and let's see what is there inside. There are around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and let's open this, the 8th screw and I think there should be some screws here as well, yeah here 2 screws are there, 9 and 10, so totally 10 screws we have to remove to see what is there inside this cassette recorder, alright let's take this out, this is very old model cassette deck, cassette player but it was not used at all this is the first time i am removing this to see what is there inside this is the fifth screw There is one more screw here. This is the eleventh screw. This is the power card housing. You can keep this power card inside here, and you can carry. Since this is portable, this works in battery as well. Here, there are four R20 batteries, which works in six volt. So all right, these three screws we have to take out. this three screws and these two screws here after taking this out this upper panel will come all right now i think this will come out very easily yes so this is the upper panel which i have removed now let, let's keep this aside and then the back cover also will come out this is the top loop so there is one control here volume control and this is the mic which records the audio after recording here this will capture the voice here all right now it's time to take out this back housing so this is the internal look of this RM210 210 so this has around 4 inches driver with small magnet 3 watts is written here you can see this is here you can see the 3 watts RMS and this is the tape mechanism you can see and this has CCW motor 6 volt DC this works in 6 volt DC CCW that means counterclockwise motor this will rotate the opposite side direction opposite to clockwise counterclockwise the model is eg 530 ad 6b is the model number and this is one simple motherboard here so let's take these four screws out and see what is the back side of the motherboard and this is the transformer here small trans transformer this will work this will be 6 volt AC transformer alternating current I'm just taking out these four screws of the motherboard so you can see this is completely fixed here you can see coming this side so this is very simple motherboard there is one toggle switch here this is for selection ac or dc if you push in ac that will work in the mains card and if you push this side it will go to dc which works in 6 volt r20 batteries this is the connector which gives speaker out this is the volume control and 
this is one more socket I'm not sure so the main uh, chip here use this let me see cd 160cp is the model number i think it's not clear there are few components very small motherboard because this has only one cassette deck here there is no fm inside and this is the mic which directly go goes to this motherboard here and this is so this connection is for mic which is placed here this is the mic it is very good content condenser mic the size is pretty decent so this may capture very good sound you can see this is a very big mic here and this this cable goes to this motor and this this is the cable which comes to the motherboard here the audio of the cassette here will transfer to this motherboard here and this is one more cable which goes directly to the speaker here so that's it nothing much and these two wires black and red wire goes to the motherboard which is dc 6 volt which comes from the r20 batteries here all right and this transformer is of 6 volt alternating current ac so that is that's it there is nothing much here let's put, put this back so now i am going to place this motherboard here that's it now we'll just put these four screws here it's as simple as that you can see the condition here it is brand new since this is vintage model it might be around 15 years old but still it is not used at all so that's it let's put this cover back here like this all right now it's time to put the screws back here so this is the option here which we saw in the motherboard as you can see here ac and dc if you push this to ac it will work in the mains card which goes to directly the main power supply 220 230 and this has one more option this is auxiliary mono cable here 3.5 mm using this cable you can connect to any external speaker the amplifier for that will be this only only the speaker is external you can use here done now only we have to put this top cover that's it now we have to put this five screws which holds this top cover two is in the front side here and three will go to the back side of this cassette recorder three screws here we have to put all right before putting this main cable back inside this housing let's try playing it So I'm not going to play long because there will be a copyright issue. So this is working perfectly. Even if you want to buy, you can buy through Unicorn Deals, which I will give the link in the description. All right. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe to Audio Viz 360 and hit that notification bell icon. 
and write comment in the comment section below thanks for watching bye